Did that do anything? Yeah. Well, I hope so. Or just set up straighter. <laughs> oh. Notification, yes or no? You just got it? No. Oh, just got it. Well, happy Monday, everyone. Welcome to our Monday Night Mukbang with James live. and Mark. Live. And today we are having Carl's Jr. or in other parts of the country, what is it known as? Hardee's? Oh, it's Hardee's. Yeah. Hardee's? So if you guys have Hardee's or Carl's Jr., we decided to get the Beyond Meat burger today. And if you guys have never heard of Beyond Meat, it is... It's a plant-based protein non meat meat <laughs> so what is it made up of is it soy i think it's i think they would just call it plant food okay. so there's two brands beyond meat and the other one is called impossible, impossible mm. and we've i know for sure we've had impossible because we've had a umami burger yeah uh have we ever had beyond meat i don't no, know but i think they're like the same it's like cook and pepsi it's like two companies that make very similar products so we're going to give you guys a close-up. It even looks like meat. But the big question is, does it taste like meat? Is there, are there like grilled marks on it too, even? See, I don't know if I like that or not. No, I mean, they have to cook it still. No, I, yeah, I guess you're right. But <laughs> it, it just makes it seem like they're just trying to trick me. But yeah, we got that. And then, of course, I still wanted a chicken sandwich because I was like, I don't know if there's enough food. <laughs> should be but uh make sure you guys thumbs up this video we're gonna get up to your questions real quick so or intros hi. yeah hi hi ann hi celeste hi oh, brandon jamie Ooh. jesse melanie we'll get to have you in just a second jonesy elaine uh they have hardy's in michigan nikki p susan uh, i have not watched E3, but thanks for the reminder because E3 is a big video game conference mm. uh, and they reveal like all of the big things coming up. So sorry if that made you sad asking about your fur baby. Oh, we're good because hey, dude, come he's, here. He's like up here. So oh, you couldn't get oh your my God. Oh. <laughs> I thought you only got your man. fry. You're not paying attention. Hey, dude, up, here. up here. That's how you get your upset belly. You can't do that anymore. Oh, he, he grabbed it. Well, you know what? He could have gone for it, but he kind of like tested uh, you a little bit. But he's better. He's not quite on his normal. He's like maybe seventy five percent. Yeah, he had a st stomach ache essentially last week, and uh, we took him to the vet on Monday. Yeah, and he's yeah, like you said, seventy five percent. So hopefully he'll be back on his normal normal schedule soon. He, uh, but this whole week he's been having brown rice and boiled chicken breast. And he is not upset about that at all. It actually looks good. Maybe we sh should just make his own food. I wonder if we would save money in the long run doing that. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Because uh -oh. chicken breast could be expensive sometimes. Unless we go to Costco. Yeah. It is a hot day today. It's like, yeah, usually we turn off the air during our lives, but like we're like, today, sorry. You're hot. Hi, Davey and Melanie, miss you too. Happy Pride, Shelly. Yeah, we'll talk about Pride in today's video. Make sure you guys thumbs up this video, by the way. And if you're completely new to our channel. Where are you from? What's your favorite food and how did you find us? So again, we're having uh, Carl's Jr's, they're using Beyond Meat, which is our vegan patty. And it's not a Carl's Jr. product. Beyond Meat is served at other restaurants too. Mm. But they're just using that for their vegan. Now, all right, I think we should just bite into it and let people know. But is it kind of in, counterintuitive or productive that we got it with cheese? Well, it doesn't have to be completely vegan. I can't change overnight. I know, but who would get, who would purposefully get this if you're more of a vegan, like except for us, we're we're eating it, but yeah, I guess. Well, you got the Impossible Burger one time, and it, just because you felt like it, and it was good. Yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. Um, I barely got a bite yet. I can tell it's not. Meat. 
but it's palatable. It's not bad, but I know it's not me. What do you now, think? if I got this for you and I didn't tell you it was beyond me, like, would you say the same thing? I would know. In this case, I would know. Hmm. What do you think of it? <laughs> yeah. They're a little bit different. Oh my gosh, it's Sandy's on. Sandy, I saw your text yesterday and I got mad. She's in Vegas right now. <gasps> she was at bed on black. <laughs> bed on black. No, her she likes red. She likes burgundy color. Mm. So um with this type of vegan patty, it's supposed to be the most similar to real meat like. Because other vegan patty is like, they don't even try to be like me, like black bean patty or yeah, like, you know, whatever. But this one's like, even if you squeeze down on it and the meat juice just comes out, like it's supposed to be able to do that. Mm. Not bad. I mean, I would... I would eat this if it was Lent and on Friday and I was really like following, not eating meat, then I would eat this. But not on a Tuesday and we're like, what do you want for dinner? Like, I don't think I would say I would want it. It was about $4 more expensive than the normal famous. How much more? Like the famous star combo. Yeah. The normal price is like seven something. Mm -hmm. This is ten ninety nine. Whoa. What kind of plants do you use? So it's more expensive. Hey, Christine and Twilight. Welcome. Nick Kip says, I would have ordered a BK veggie burger many times, always with cheese and extra onions. Now, their famous star is supposed to be like a Whopper or Big Mac, right? Like, mm -hmm. is there Like their signature burger, right? Um, not to ruin anyone's appetite, but the meat is like wetter than it should be. Like it just tastes wet. Mm. <laughs> the, I mean, you can kind of actually see the texture of the the meat, I guess. Hi, Chantal. Thanks for joining. Uh, how do you feel about alternative fried dipping sauces? Euro style, mayo, aioli, etc. Well, what's Euro style to start off with? Mayo, newest discovery for me, even though Mark's been eating it with mayo for a long time. But I love fries with mayo now. Recently, we went to this restaurant. We found this place that had really good thick fries. Mm -hmm. And they serve it with this little cup of mayo, and I was like, I don't think there was any mayo by the end of it. It was German style, right? Yeah. Like, what do you call it? Free, uh, Belgian frites. Yeah. <laughs> you guys make everything look good. Thank you. Mm, so earlier, Jesse asked, what's our favorite video game of all time? And mm -hmm. I want to know what yours is, because I don't know. Uh... Mario 2. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Why did you like that one so much? I love that you could choose different characters, especially Princess. Hmm. Because normal Mario, like, you're, you're either Mario or Luigi. That's yeah. Not, that's not fun. How about you? Well, I know I already know yours. But of all time. Are you sure you know mine? Is it Final Fantasy Seven? Yeah. I remember really enjoying that game. They did they did a really good job at storytelling, so I couldn't overlook that fact. So happy pride everyone. Huh? 
I feel oh, like we didn't wear a pin. I know. I worked today. At, we worked to, today at work. And it's weird saying that because we've probably gone through so many prides, but we, this was the first year I'd say we're acknowledging it because one, we actually part participated in the activities. They had a parade out in Los Angeles yesterday. So if you guys didn't see on our Instagram stories, we had a good time. What did you think of everything? <laughs> there were some parts that got emotional. Oh yeah? yeah. Like what parts? Because I, I don't think we even had enough time to like debrief because uh, there's alcohol involved. So at a certain point, yeah, we weren't really talking about <laughs> serious things anymore. No, like um, you know, it was like. <clears throat> Like different like entities, like law enforcement, FBI, like they're all part of the parade. Even like seeing like oh Chase supports you, like the bank, you know. Delta Airlines United, like it was all cool. And then it was fun because some the bigger corporations like Uber, they're able to, you know, have a celebrity like Naomi Smalls or whatever as part of their float. But then even other ones, like, it was more family-oriented, too, like having parents with their kids come and celebrate. I don't know. It was just – it felt pretty, like – it yeah. meant it was meant for everybody. Oh, yeah. I had that – had a conversation with someone at work today saying, had I known – not had I known, but, yeah, I wish we just made this more available to people in our network. Like, it doesn't – you don't have to be any of those things to go. No. You just go – to celebrate. It's like an OC fair. It's like a county fair. Yeah. It's it's inclusive. Everyone can get involved. Everyone can enjoy. Everyone can participate. And so next year, I'm all like amped up already. Because we have one in Orange County, but we're, we're going to, we might go. Oh, actually, uh, Chris messaged me. It's like, let's go to OC Pride. Our Chris? Uh -huh. I thought he said San Diego. No, he just said San Diego oh. slash OC. Oh, well. Yeah. Mm. Mm, have you heard of yum yum sauce? Mm. Mm, I don't know. No. What is that? We have yum yum donuts <laughs> down here. Yeah. Hi, Jessica, and welcome, Walter. Yeah, we're keeping cool. I did not realize how hot of a day it would be today. Did you know? And tomorrow is going to be like today. That's what they say. Mm. Maybe I'll wear my short sleeve shirts tomorrow because <clears throat> I was getting kind of, I had a meeting today and the room was getting kind of warm. Um, so I probably should like. Does the sun face your office window? It doesn't even. And that's why it's like, how does it get so hot? But if it's just hot outside, it's just hot. You can start on the chicken. Yeah. Maybe give people a sneak preview of it. I saw in the news today that there's um I mean they're calling it a bear attack because the news they want to grab your attention so you can stay on the channel to watch it. But um they tranquilized a mama bear with her cub. Mm. That wasn't even a year, a year old. Well, where where were they? Um they were in LA area and then um, the, they're in the backyard of this owner's house and he only came out because his dog uh, was barking a lot and then he looked the dog and the cub was trying to like either fight or play I don't know <laughs> then out of nowhere the mama bear came out mm. yeah. so no hopefully one, no one got super injured they but. just tranquilized and then brought the bear back to where they should be hopefully um yeah, I don't know what the protocol... They didn't want to say, and that made me suspicious. Because they're like, oh, they're going to take it back to a facility to do DNA testing. But I'm like, well, you know, sometimes when wild animals attack people, like, I've heard, like, the right protocols, then you have to put that animal down. Mm -hmm. But this is sad because it was a mama bear and a cub. Well, instinctively, the mama bear is going to do anything they yeah. can to protect the, the cub. Yeah. Well, so this is a what you get spicy, just a spicy chicken. That's all. It's not even called a burger or sandwich. It just said spicy chicken on the menu. 
It just looks like a giant chicken nugget between two bread. <laughs> yum yum sauce is the white sauce served at Japanese steakhouses. Ah, huh, thank oh. you, Disney Divas. Um, I don't know if I recognize Disney Divas name. I mm. feel like I would remember that. So you're new. Where are you from? What's your favorite food and how did you find us? And Ooh. are you a Disney, like California Disney person or Florida? Hmm. Or, or Tokyo or France. Is there one in China? Shanghai. Are those a, is there only five Disney lands in the world? I was gonna ask, what's your favorite Disney ride and your favorite Disney movie? <laughs> Hi Melanie. Yes. So I don't know. I feel like it's not as obvious here, but I my face got really dark yesterday, even though I put on sunscreen. But you can tell when I wear like a light color shirt and then it's like so light here and then dark. Oh. I was like, what are you doing? More thumbs up, lower this goes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my arms, I think. Oh, you could tell. You got burned, though. I told you yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see? Oh, I should have worn a tank top yesterday. You would have gotten really burned, though. No? But at least I want to have, like, a farmer's tan. Yeah. I'd rather... I mean, I don't care about... Yeah, but would you... Tank top tan because I'm, you know... Barely in naked it. outside. Well, I'm saying like, I would, I totally get what you're saying, but I'd rather work on my tan at a non big event like that, right? Like, I don't want to show up my farmer tan at that event. I want to like, but I guess yeah. When when else are we gonna be outside in the sun for that long? Uh, Disney says I've been watching for a while, but first time commenting. Well, we're so happy that you decided to comment, and even though you are a silent viewer this entire time. Uh, we're supportive of that. And we love people from Florida. I'm in Tampa, so I go to Disney World. My favorite mm -hmm. ride is Big Thunder Mountain. Ah. So now I'm curious. If I go to Big Thunder Mountain in Florida, is it the same as what's here? The same exact ride? And Disney Diva, I would imagine if your name's Disney Diva, you probably have been to both. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Yeah, like, is it the same, or is it slightly different? Or if anyone else in the chat knows, I'm just curious. Like, is it the same, like, length of road? Like, yeah, I'm curious. Is Space Mountain the same thing? Mm -hmm. If that's the case, why would we ever go to Disney World? Hmm. It's, like, the same thing. No, there has to be a compelling reason. But it is world, not land, so I assume it's bigger. Yeah. Like, what's at Epcot Center besides that big thing? Did they do, like, concerts inside or something? Oh, you can actually go in that I, structure? I don't know. I just... <laughs> we don't know anything about Disney World. You know the name of it? Epcot Center? Mm -hmm. I only knew it because they always talked about it back in the day on, like, TGI Friday, those shows. Mm. There was always a Disneyland episode. <laughs> Disney World. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Steven, how are you? How are you? It's slightly Ooh. different, but the actual track is the same, just different features. Ooh, it's actually spicy. <laughs> I was gonna ask, like, are you sure you got the spicy one? It has a kick to it. Uh, Chantel is confirming it's a ride inside the ball. Oh, Whoa, what? I didn't know that. You didn't finish. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I finished what? I was like, you didn't finish your burger. 
Then I realized that's a chicken sandwich. Did you want another bite? No. I'm getting full. So, uh, anyone in the chat right now has had either Impossible Burger or Beyond Meat? I also read like the reason why these companies like invented or made these vegan burgers. Yeah, to cater to like, you know, so we could eat less meat, but um, to also like help with environmental factor because cow produces a lot of gas. Mm -hmm. Actually, I never realized the correlation between meat consumption and the environment until yeah. recently. <laughs> And not only like just having cows, but the whole process, it takes a lot of carbon footprint and world hunger and hunger. No. I'm just guessing now. <laughs> mm, Disney cruises, that would be fun to go on one. I'm keeping my ears open for the dryer, if you hear it. Okay. We're doing laundry right now. Uh, for some reason, I wasn't that, like, into doing laundry the past, like, you know, in recent weeks. And then James was like, I'm down to no underwear, no socks. I used up all my emergency underwear. And he was even tempted to go to, like, Target or Walmart and just pick up a new pair. I was like, you already have... A hundred pair of underwear. You don't need more underwear. Well, I don't have a hundred clean pairs of underwear. Do you guys have a, a stockpile of emergency underwear, or is that just like something in our household? I think a lot of people would have emergency underwear, mm -hmm. like underwear that either you know you don't keep in it, so you don't wear it, or the one with that, or it's not comfortable, or comfortable because it's too tight because you gained the weight. Mm -hmm. Or like it has a hole in it, but not big enough for you to like throw it away or you forget to throw it away. So all those for us constitutes as emergency underwear. Technically, this is emergency underwear, but I decided to wear it. Oh. Uh, or you could just wear the, your old underwear inside out. That won't work. To get some extra mileage. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> so it sounds like there's been issues with getting the live notification. Yeah, let's let's all contact YouTube and be like, hey, what the heck? Oh my gosh, sleepy says Hi, how's it going? But then like just reading your name just Made me want to go to sleep right now. <laughs> oh, I have a question for you guys. How much would you spend on an Uber? Like, what's your, like, cap? And then we'll tell you how much it costs for us to come home from, from LA. LA. But speaking of Uber. Was it was it on its, um, was it, it times two or whatever? It was the surge price, okay. yeah. Well, here was the dilemma. We tried using... You usually try to call Lyft and Uber and just see which one's uh, more affordable. But Lyft was not working at all. So we were in a situation where it's like, well, we're just going to use the one that works. And that's yeah. how much we pay for it. But side note, and I feel like we'll end up talking about this in an actual mukbang. Or this is a mukbang. But our Uber driver subscribed to us. While and driving. She, well, no, she pulled over. I, I gave it to her at the very end. You oh. don't remember anything. You can't. You cannot even say what happened in the car because you are not even at that level. Okay. Can I finish? Yeah, go. Cool. So her name's Joyce. She was the best Uber driver ever. Why? She had the same musical taste as me. Not like English artists or American K artists. K-pop songs. K-pop. And guess what? 
Every song she played, I sang along with her. And I danced with her. And she sang back. It I was felt like, like a party. It was like a party bus. No, it was Prius. like James Corden. Uh, he does that carpool karaoke. Sh- like I felt like that. I wish, I kind of wish I was in the front seat with her. But who had known yeah. that she would like K-pop so much? Yeah. But it was so much fun. So I hope she finds us somehow because I don't know if you remember. All of you guys were like, "We got to be best friends." Well, Just she, end your shift and hang out with us. I was like, we're she not going to, like, stop working to come have a drink with us? Well, the amount we paid plus the tip you gave her, she could have just ended her shift that day and still be okay. Anyways, somehow I hope the universe gets her to, like, find us again. Well, so now, this that, is my... now that we know how she looks like, if we kind of see her in town, then we, we know. Oh, yeah, that's true. I always keep clean packages of underwear in my dresser drawer, and I keep a full set of clothes and underwear and everything in the trunk of my car. Oh, but what if you end up using your clean package of underwear to use as an emergency? Then do you, would you buy another clean package just to keep in your drawer? Yeah, I guess you have to replenish it. I would just go commando. <laughs> Walter wrote, just remember, yellow in the front, brown in the back. Sometimes green, girl. <laughs> Didn't mean to call you girl. It's just it's a habit that I've been calling everyone girl lately. Why? I don't know. It just rolls off the tongue. It's better than saying boy. Not saying I like boys more than girls or anything like that. It's just boy. Be like girl. <laughs> I love K-pop too. Awesome. I must spin a fun ride. Uh, Twilight. Who do you like? Yeah, and there was a lot. Of, there was traffic on the way home, so that like elongated the ride too. We and- almost. Uh, we almost extended the ride. I'd be like, can you just go around the block till we hit one more song? Rainism? Is that one of Rain's song? Mm-hmm. Is that, um, I'm a bad boy? Or, no. Oh, yeah. Is it something like that? Like, he kind of whispers things? Maybe, like, there's, like, yeah. a move where he goes like this. Oh yeah, she said she said yes. Um, BTS. Also loves BTS and Blackpink. Yeah, they're. I've been listening to BTS a lot lately. Yeah, how does that song go? Mm. Don't they dance like this or something like that? How? No, BTS. Yeah. What's the one song that you? The oh my my my. Yeah. I think they just go like, oh, oh my, 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 my. <laughs> uh oh, we just unleashed James. No, it's so hard to put you back in. You you ripped off the band aid, and now here comes the K pop. <laughs> we were supposed to do um, a karaoke live, but we've never done it yet. I'm sure we've done it. They're informal. I want to market one as. If you come here, it's going to be song requests, and then we'll just start singing it. <laughs> uh, Walter says uh, he heard on the news that they're going to start doing helicopter Uber rides. Mm, I heard that, too. Really? Yeah. $200 one way. That doesn't seem that bad. But then oh, B.L. Meyer just said, Walter, did you hear about helicopter crash in New York? Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh. <gasps> oh, oh, and the dryer went off right now, too. That's good timing. So the battery's in the office. And then you're going to check on the dryer. And we'll switch the battery out. So we have this uh, light. That's why I just suddenly went, Shh. it's actually pretty still lit. But yeah, uh, because we filmed the mukbang, all the battery juice went away. Hey, Jackie, welcome to our live. Can you just pull it out one way? There you go. Hey, you up here. Go here. Up here. Up here. Sit. Hey, are you scaring everyone? Hold down the button. Woo! What number was it on? 
I think it was on like 20. Uh, that's good. Hey, wave, wave. Hey, wave, wave. Bad boy. He's feeling better, but his regular, now that we're kind of done eating, his regular bowel movements is not regular yet. So we're hoping that a few more days he'll be back on it. Uh, simple life. He went to go put clothes in the dryer. He'll be right back. And if you think I'm eating his fries, that's true, but he's done eating them. So mm. this is the new brightness makes my farmer's tan even more apparent. Hedu has a farmer's tan too. He's doing much better. Thanks for asking. The tricky thing about having pets is like when they're not feeling well, it's like they can't really tell you anything except for how they act. And his was just even, he was normal, but he just was like pooping everywhere. And yeah. Hmm. Oh, hey, I have some more fries. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. You're looking nice and brown. Now I just need to get some of this evened out. So what do I do? Do I put a bunch of sunblock here and like... I don't want to burn. Like, how do I just tan this part? Because I've always had this issue. Mm. Should that be a shark tan concept? Like, how to give farmer tan people tan in that? Like, I just want to tan this area. They so. sell um just sleeves. Just wear that. So I want to wear a sleeve out in public. Yeah, and just and just keep this open. Interesting. I was just gonna put sunblock here and like less SPF here. Mm. Will that work? Put some butter. Your brown nice. And then I want to take a bite out of it. <laughs> Come to Hawaii and finish up that tan. <laughs> Very tempting. Mm. Mm. Margaret and Simple Life, you guys can watch the replay. We had the Beyond Meat famous star from Carl's oh, Jr. Jr. or Hardee's from other states. It's their vegan patty. But we had it with cheese, so we can't say we had a vegan meal. It's just vegetarian then, right? Yes. Vegetarian. But then we ate the chicken sandwich, so we definitely didn't have a vegetarian meal at all. <laughs> Shelly says, you're all ombre. <laughs> oh, I know I say this every year, but I need to go on a diet. Oh, why the change of mentality? Because before you're like, who cares? I don't need a diet. I look well, good. Not. I don't know. I just want to feel good, too. I just want to look good. Yeah. I want to uh, pose for a picture without having to suck in. Or, I no, miss it, that feeling. Yeah, I, I want to be in a picture without having without thinking about a strategy. Yeah. Pick, okay. If Does anyone have their phone out right now? Go to the my last Instagram post, you'll know that's a strategy pose. Do you remember what I did? No, did you put like a sticker over or something? I think I put my, I was behind you and it went like this. <laughs> you don't remember? <laughs> Look at the picture. Bye Walter. And hey Lizzie. Yeah, you're t you're totally hiding behind me. Hey, but why are you holding that flag up on you for any reason? Or no, I just wanted to show the rainbow flag without covering people. Hey, he's not having it. Hey, do. Was it good? I heard about it. Um, yeah, it was decent. It's just not like our first choice. There were some textural things going on. Like Mark said, it was too wet, the patty. 
you know, so we had the Impossible Burger at another restaurant. That tasted better, but I don't know if it's because it's not a fast food restaurant. Mm. That's what tastes it different, or I actually like Impossible Burger better than Beyond Meat. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I can't tell. I feel like I need to eat it side by side, but with those two patties. Different. Should we do a blind taste test next time where okay. we get a... Uh, Wait, so do they sell these at the supermarket? I think they're beginning to now. Mm. I've never really seen them. What name do you like better? Beyond Meat or Impossible? Impossible. Yeah? Beyond Meat? I don't think it's good to have the word meat as part of your name. Uh. And beyond, like, when you hear Beyond Meat, like, you start questioning, like, then what is it, you know? <laughs> but Impossible Burger made it sound like the were able to accomplish it's not something that's like never thought one could do but we landed on the moon yeah you know it's like that kind of feeling so in terms of the marketing i want to say impossible burger did a better job interesting and sometimes i like names that are just very like straight to the point so when i hear beyond me it's like it's not me yeah impossible is so open-ended but i guess yeah i guess it depends You also like the market and the product labels in Handmaid's Tale. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's so straightforward. We're, we're getting a can of tomato sauce. It's just a little info, not, not even an infographic. It's a, um, what do you call it? Like, yeah, infographic yeah. images. An icon. Or an an image, icon of yeah. a tomato. Speaking of which, um, when we were at the Pride Parade, when the Hulu float came by do you remember how much fun that was yeah because we just kept saying all, all of these, these shows well we just kept referencing handmaid's yeah. tale like all, all the crazy. things yeah and they were like yeah they were like oh, hey, look at him oh i can't give this to you after last week uh-uh yeah we still don't even know what he ate to give him an upset stomach um, I maybe a bounce sheet because there was a week, ripped one. I saw some ripped one near the near our laundry room, but then he's done that before, and he just rips it. He doesn't eat yeah. it. Right? <laughs> it's like a parrot on your shoulder about a Shiba Inu instead. It's not me is a good name. See, BL Myers in the same. Wavelength as me. Or who are you kidding? <laughs> well, that's kind of like, I can't, I can't believe it's not butter. So that name makes me think like, then what is it? Mm -hmm. Right? Because then now, I, yeah, what is it though? I never really had it. The only thing I remember there's, about that brand. Like margarine though. Oh, okay. But when I grew up, and I think I talked about this before, I thought margarine was butter. There was yeah. never any like differentiation. No, as a kid, I thought it was the same thing. Yeah, but but now it's healthier than the other. But now we don't touch margarine at all. No, it's not healthy. Is it cheaper than butter? Yeah, you get a whole tub for ninety nine cents. But then carry gold butter. Butter is like a gold brick. Yeah. Yeah, teach their own. We're all gonna die. I knew you were gonna say that. You have to say that all the time when something like that comes up. It's very depressing. No, now you been? They say chicken. <sighs> has just as much cholesterol than red meat so and to my point i i was a history major and one of my history class was like uh the like the food history throughout in u.s in modern day u.s history and it's just funny because one decade they'll say pork is the healthiest meat choice and then now it then it became meat then it became chicken, and now they're saying chicken has cholesterol. Do you mean beef for the second one? Yeah. yeah. So, no, I'm correcting you. Wait, I was just gonna say something. Do you think there's some kind of scheme where, I don't know, the head of the beef company like outbids the other it, two? It's and it's always, like, hey. yeah, I'm sure it's like whoever paid for that study or whatever. Yeah. Pam says, by the way, loving your Japan videos. Thank you. Um, the first one did got a good reception then ever since then it's kind of dwindled. So thank you for supporting. It's 
it's going to get canceled soon. <laughs> I felt bad because I missed last week, but just think of it as being on hiatus. But we should have another video out on Thursday for Japan. And, and we then, just filmed the mukbang, which I'll probably post tomorrow. Well, tomorrow, yeah. Earlier, because it's supposed to come out on the weekend. And then you're right. I feel like we need to do a, film a mukbang during the week because weekends, we just. Sometimes we have plans. And Sometimes, like every weekend, we have plans. Yeah. Or like we drink the night. Well, before, if you think about we're it, like, oh, I did not look cute today. If you think about it, like weekends, we have Friday, and then I'm Friday dinner, Saturday lunch, Saturday dinner, Sunday lunch, Sunday dinner. We usually don't do Sunday dinner because it's just like we're getting ready we for the errands. We, we don't we, we usually do together. Yeah, that's when we should film it. We don't do Friday because we're just like uh, we finish work. We're not like. We've done it a few times, but we I did, remember we've done drink bongs on Friday yeah. before. So then the only ones we're left with is Saturday, like lunch, lunch Saturday dinner, and then Sunday. Sunday lunch. Usually Saturday dinner is taken because we have plans. Yeah, and you don't want to do Sunday lunch because then you don't want to edit that day. Yeah. So then <laughs> <laughs> we need to we need to do them on Saturday lunch time. But even then, like. Oh, last week we had a baseball game, or so, I think that was last week, and then the week I don't know. So thank you guys for. I feel like we just need it whenever we have time. We just need to film it and then just have it in queue. Yeah, the problem is, is we don't ever have the food that we need for it. It's mm -hmm. like a production. Mm -hmm. um, should our next mukbang be like like a cookbang mukbang? Yeah. Okay. Do one. Those are harder to edit, but okay. But you people have, like that. More. Do they people? Well, if you look at the views, it doesn't mean they like it more. I think we like it more. We who like we are as a brand. No, don't define our, our, our brand. I don't know. Messaging? Our brand messaging is two guys that like food and each other. Should that be our tagline? Welcome to James and Mark, two guys who like each other and food. Who like food and each other? But isn't the tagline like. Yeah. <laughs> I you know, cook, I eat, you watch or something. So we need a cook. I think I took that out though. Uh oh, I took that out once we became a unit. Then I couldn't use the word I, unless this is it. We cook, we eat, we you watch. I don't know. See, that means it's an ineffective tagline if you don't even remember what it is. All right, Shelly says my dad was mowing his lawn when he came upon a foul smell. He lives in the mountains and found a dead deer at the back of his wood house. That was Saturday. He's dying with the stench of rotting deer. Anyway, Beyond Meat compelled <laughs> me to share that story. Oh, oh no. Poor deer. Uh, I don't even know how you begin to get rid of that smell. Um, one time, like, my mom forgot that we had a watermelon. Uh -huh. it, like, it wasn't in the fridge. It was just, like, left out on the carpet, like, near the dining room. And it rotted. But the way how watermelon rots is, like, it's instant. Okay. Like it's like rock slowly riding, rotting, and suddenly when it gets to that point, the Does watermelon it just, just crap. It it, it, it collapses and it kind of folds in and it releases all the rotting juice. Ew. And it, it's the worst smell ever. Rotten watermelon. I don't know if anyone in this world uh, had to experience smelling that, but it was bad. <laughs> and watermelon's big, and so there's a lot of it. I but I'm never sure it's that. probably not as bad as. A deer, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think any living flesh type things yeah. would smell over. Well, but... Can you imagine all the maggots and stuff? Oh, oh. Don't talk about it. Oh, gross. <laughs> hey, Renee. Welcome. Uh, we got some suggestions for crab. Ooh, we haven't done that in a while. Oh, so, like, today we got a comment on our king crab versus imitation crab video. And the person wrote... I just wasted 20 minutes of my life. And I don't know how to respond because I was thinking, well, does that mean, like, is that a negative thing towards us? Or is that just like, or, is there any other way to interpret that? Or is it just like, oh. Or like, why did you watch us for 20 minutes then? Well, no, that was, I was going to respond. I was like, if you knew you didn't like the video at a certain point, like wouldn't you the, normally just, just exit? Yeah. But to leave, a comment like that, then it leaves it open up to interpretation. So does that mean you liked it or you didn't like it? Or do you feel ashamed that you watched something for 20 minutes? Or Ask you... all these questions back. Yeah, I don't have time for that. Oh my gosh. 
I see a sushi piece right there. Is it, is it a real sushi rotting underneath a couch? Can you imagine? No. If there was real sushi under oh, there, there would be no way it. this guy would have been. Uh, Angelina, it's been a while since I've caught a live. Hello, guys. Hope Hedy was on the men. Yeah, he's behind us doing a little bit better. <laughs> and then we had Beyond Meat Burgers with fries and a chicken sandwich. Make lobster rolls for the next one. Well, that's interesting. We technically could buy the bread. I was going to say lobster, but bread is also very essential. It's funny, like, out of the two things, they're both in the word, lobster and roll. But I I think, okay. I think as a child, bread. as a child, the meat was the cornerstone of a sandwich. As an adult, I see how the bread is, like, in the What? Bread. When I hear the word sandwich, the first thing I think about is the bread. Like, what kind oh, of bread? Like, no, the first I, thing I think of is I the inside. Think I see a bread first, like a sliced bread. Yeah. Because that's what a sandwich is. Read the last comment that just came in. Boba? Yeah. Are you typing that? No! I don't know who that is. Are you? Hey. Hello, James. Welcome to the channel. Uh, ask the questions, because I don't think uh, we've had a James come I, in before. I think you just typed that. Where's my phone? I don't have time to play games with you right now. I don't know what your phone is. Yeah. So, Jim, I was here the from? whole time. Where are you from? What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? And he asked, what's it like to be named James? It's a cool name. <laughs> You're just saying that. Is it not cool? No, it's, it's a. Cool. I say it's a good classic name that's not like too common. Not too common, but also like people see it, they know what it is. James Bond. Yeah. Um, I'm a little indifferent because my brother's name is James. Yeah. And do I think he's cool? <laughs> Brandon confirmed he has 57 subscribers. So maybe, maybe James is you, but back in time. Maybe. Uh, why did you say boba? Like make boba or boba mukbang? Just, just a bowl of boba and we just eat it? Um, that could be cool, I guess. Where uh -huh. where do you find boba? I don't know. You buy like... Or can you just go to Tasty just... and be like, can we just get How come I felt boba like... Just it? I felt like I read something where like an animal like died and then they did an autopsy. And I'm like getting it confused with either plastic bags or boba. It was... um, I, No, a deer... At Nada Park. Okay, Nada. that was plastic bags. Yeah. But I, I felt like I saw something How else. How did you read that news? It was like on my feet or something. That was on my feet, but the news source was like Japan, like some obscure like Japanese media. I mean, it could be very well like they knew that I've been looking up Japan stuff. And now, you know, see, that's the internet's watching you guys. <laughs> it looks like he does vi gaming videos. What kind of games? And did you find us? It's okay, but did you find us by typing in your own name? <laughs> That's my only theory. Because remember that one time, the Mark and James yeah, person his, his found us? His name was Mark James. Oh, yeah, Mark James. I think he typed in his name. Yeah, that's what he said. And found us that way. So That was a funny story, yes. <laughs> Renee, he's doing much better. <laughs> he doesn't look like it, but he's he doing much sad. better. He just wants dinner. We, we He's food to, motivated. We have to take him out too. Yeah. Stop exposing me. Yeah, I don't. I never told our mods to uh, look into anyone, but they've had no, a it's okay. vested interest in finding out we're more getting, about James. Uh, we're giving our viewers exposure. Is it weird ever saying your own name out loud? Mark. Are you testing it right now? Mark. I well, feel like my, it's I weird to say my, my own name. Cool because it's also a word. Yeah, we've already mentioned this like five times here's, in other videos. Just, I'm not. There's jelly. nothing to be jealous about. It's just jelly stop saying the same thing every time. 
<laughs> yeah. See, uh, you're at this heightened level of like annoyance. Like, yeah. Or anything. <laughs> that makes it worse. So I know that's why it's stop. Right now it's an ideal time to please do something. stop. Okay. Uh, Minnie says make po boy sandwiches, shrimp, catfish, or oyster. Oh, well, that sounds good. And then we'd have to make a roulade, or is it remoulade? Mm. It's one of those. It's that relish and mayo thing yeah uh what is for after dinner cake <laughs> no cake today i'm actually pretty full i don't even feel like we have grapes though i feel like we should eat those at some point but mm. i don't know this beyond meat is um beyond digestion almost oh is it cold brown okay now that you mention it when i came home i was supposed to use the restroom and i never did Oh, today? Yeah. And now it's like rearing its head again. Well, but I'm good. I'm good right underwear. now. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Just, I did a lot yeah, if, if I have to poop in my pants, might as well be in my emergency underwear, right? Don't want to don't want to spoil the good underwear. Unless please, you're into that. Please make kimchi soup. Okay. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, um... We watched Always Be My Maybe, and without giving away too much after watching that, kimchi soup sounds good. Kimchi stew. Soup and stew are the same to me, but they're not. There are two different dishes. I like to use them interchangeably. Tomato, tomato. It's like the other day where you were like, this or that, and I was like, no, those are two completely different words, and you try to justify it. Why? Soup and stew, kimchi soup, kimchi stew. I think I can get away with that, but you said something else. I was like, those are two different things you can't say. Or the same. No, I don't but remember. in Korean, there, there are two different dishes. Though. No, kimchi guk and kimchi jjigae. Whatever. I make my own rules. No dessert. I don't think so. Not today. I didn't have a good scale, uh, Monday morning scale. Do you guys ever do that? Sometimes if I, obviously I could have done better with the choice of food, but if I know like I'm at a certain thing, then if I can modify something, I will. So I didn't get soda today. I got iced tea with a splash of lemonade. Mm. It's those little concessions, right? You're like thinking you're going to need to do a lot more than that. If you want to reach your goals. Maybe we should have walked to Carl's Jr. Oh, oh it no. even says Hardy's on here. Does it even say Carl's Jr.? Oh, okay. it's on one side. <laughs> See, like, why not just call Like, is there a historical thing? Like, why not just call it one name so it's, like, easier? Do you think they did, like market local market research and see what people respond to but now because of internet and like we get to travel more easily now they're probably thinking it's a big mistake yeah. but back then they're probably thinking oh california folks will never know hardy's in michigan mm. let's put sonics or rallies up there on the future you know what i want to try to do next monday let's this is out in the universe rallies yeah, because it's <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of right? Because wow, like, that came out of because it's like Sonics to me. It's like a drive-through thingy oh. where you sit there and they bring out your food. I, I want to say I've only had rallies one time in my life. Well, I don't even and remember having you. either of those. Oh, we had rallies together. Well, when I when I used to live next to one, oh. that's the only time. Oh, the one on beach. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, like on a Monday, I want to like let's try to cook something next Monday. Okay. I cook. This is a lot more fast food than I would like to eat I nowadays. So. Last night or no? I didn't know. Um, no. Well, I cooked something that live where yeah, where the power or the internet went out. Oh, yeah. I think it was chicken. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, BL's having pineapple upside down cake here. Oh. Minnie says it's like best foods and hell's hellman's mayo. <gasps> those are the same. No wonder the label looks similar. What? I thought those are different brands altogether. But it's oh the same gosh. logo. It's that blue with the yellow and the white. Oh. oh, so you didn't know either, right? No. I always thought, like, oh, why do they make the logo so similar? Like they probably wanted to trick one or the other, but no. It's because they're the same. <laughs> Duh. Well, thank you, Minnie, for that uh, more you know moment. Huh. 
But between those two names. Okay, come on. Best Foods is way better than Hellman's. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's like, no Unless question. Unless your name is Hellman, like, no offense. <laughs> I don't think that. Is that even a name? Oh, well, I guess Sounds so. Sounds like a last name to me. I guess so. Elda, are you still doing keto? Yeah, the other week. Oh, last Monday we didn't go on too because we went to that restaurant. It was the chef's birthday. We bought cupcakes even though he's on keto. Oh, yeah. 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 Bio says, make your own mayo. I was fascinated as a kid and watching people make their own mayo. With I don't that understand immersion blender. why mayo you can doesn't, eat eggs raw. doesn't expire. It expires, though. It has, it's one of those, like... Forever? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Okay, we'll double check that. Well, the QP mayo goes bad. Hmm. Are you sure? They, there's no such thing as something not... Even water has expiration. How can mayo not? Like you, you sound like one of those kids that... Just say something, and then all the kids are like, "Ooh!" No, they, and then it's, it's most likely not it has true. like a Best Buy date, but then like technically it doesn't like. Lie. Fine, I'm gonna buy mayo. You're gonna eat in five years. Okay. That's not true. Just listen to the logic right. of that. We're gonna go through like a co- like apocalypse, and then I'm gonna have my mayo sandwich. Well, and the, like, oh, <laughs> where'd the bread come so from? Like, I'm not gonna. Where'd the bread come from? Mayo. You can't just get a mayo sandwich. So like out of, okay, fine. You have mayo, spam, Twinkies, and a Big Mac. Yeah, which one? Which one would last the longest? No, Big Mac is a real thing. Yeah, because it was in the back seat, right? No, they. Oh, some, did, someone just took a picture every like every day of the Big Mac, and then it literally looked the same two years later. Um. Instant ramen, like a cup of noodle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, honey, see? Okay, yeah, like I'd rather eat. But honey, honey hardens, annoyingly. No, no, it turns like rock crystal. Oh. We well, usually don't ever, the honey usually never makes that far with you around. Because I'm sweet. No, it had nothing to do with it. Actually, when I first met you and I went to your apartment, there was that honey bear thing that was always on the dining room table. I was like, guys, this is not even like, it doesn't even work anymore. It's more decoration than actual honey. It's it, that little bear plastic thing. Oh, because it's cute. I was like, someone throw it away. <laughs> it doesn't even cute. do anything. I love getting honey in that bear. Is that why, you, is that why you're with me? <laughs> this You're thinking of a quick wit and you can't think of it. So you're just <laughs> sitting there. Smiling, I know you. <laughs> I got no, you. You didn't get me. Oh my god! <laughs> yesterday I said something. You were not having it. I called you out for something. And you didn't like it. Do you remember anything from yesterday? I feel like I'm telling you all these stories, and you're just like, mm-hmm. a lot has happened. It was hard okay. To keep track of he everything. bought a bu- he bought a tray of cucumbers to stay hydrated yesterday, and I was like, why not just buy water? He's like, well, we're, we're at the market, and I just picked up a tray of cut cucumber. Cucumber slices. Yeah. Do you remember? Everyone and the mom ate it. What else did you buy at the market? Wine. What else did you buy? At the market? Yeah. Wine, cucumber. Oh my God. You really don't remember? What else? See, I don't trust you anymore. (laughs) You completely don't remember. Maybe it's because. Yeah, maybe because. You didn't end up coming home with it. Oh. I paid for someone's cigarette? Yes. And somehow you blamed me for making you buy it for him. But I wasn't even there. I was helping my friend go to the restroom. And that's why? That's why I get blamed for you buying someone else's cigarettes? Did he even ask for it? I don't don't remember. Was he even cute? No. (laughs) So you're just buying rando cigarettes now? Just nice. It was Pride was such a like 
everyone just support each other, yeah. love each other. Every so even at the liquor store, I let someone cut in front of us. Uh, yeah. So but he was super appreciative, but then I realized all, all those people behind me. Yeah, no, the girl there. behind us, the man behind yeah. us was like, girl, what are you doing? But, the but yeah, it wasn't that long. It, I mean, it wasn't long, it but five past. But you don't like waiting in lines. So our other friend, while we were waiting in line, he wanted a burrito. Mm -hmm. And I saw where he grabbed the burrito. I was like, oh, are you going to microwave it? And he was like, no. I was like, wait, you, you need to microwave the burrito. He's like, no, I'll just eat it like this. I was like, no, you can't eat like a burrito from Frozen. He lived in the desert. So I thought maybe if out there frozen burritos are a thing. And then I laughed because I came home and I was clearing out my backpack. I was like, why is there a, like a thought out burrito in my backpack? That was random. See, this is, these are the moments I wish we had like some kind of like, I don't know, base cam or like uh, something to like document it because as I'm retelling the story, it's like, it's fun because you guys don't believe that it happened, but you yeah. know what happened. Yeah. I don't have any reason to make up all this stuff, but yeah. Anyhow, um, just because we have a video to edit and it's Monday and I'm a little burned uh, and we're a little tired. Yeah, I'm like touching my arm. It feels stingy. Yeah. So we're going to head out. But thank you guys so much for joining us for another Monday Night Live Mukbang. If you guys like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, check out any of our old videos. Comment on those. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys very soon for our next mukbang. How about a little teaser for all of you okay. who stayed? Okay. A little teaser. This is a little teaser for our next mukbang. Can you even, maybe a closer look. It's a little bit far away. I don't even know if that really translates on camera. This is what we'll be doing for our next mukbang. Uh, and yeah, Brandon, we have the AC on. I don't oh, know yeah. how it's, it's 90. It's for us, it's 74. Wait, is the air condition on at your house? It says it's 91 inside the house. I hope it's on. If not, drive come over here. Come over. Hang out. Come over. It's 74 here. I love your story. Glad you had a good time at Pride. We heart you. Sushi? Question mark. Uh, only time will tell. All right. We'll see you guys all later. Bye.